I can't lie, I'm actually excited for MCU Spider-Man 4. One of the many great things about No Way Home is that it reset Tom Holland's Spider-Man, he's all by himself, broke, now entering college, and potentially a new supporting cast of Spider-Man characters will be joining him. Peter has yet to meet his versions of the villains featured in No Way Home, and while many are expecting a street-level story for Spider-Man 4 involving characters like Kingpin, Daredevil, and others, the topic of discussion lately has revolved around Spider-Man's two greatest villains appearing in the MCU. In a Q&A with Alex Perez, writer for Cosmic Circle, Circus, the question of villains a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man would find challenging in the future was asked and paraphrasing a bit. Alex did respond with Marvel still wants to introduce villains not seen on screen yet and eventually reutilize the ones we have seen. Bringing up how many are curious about how the MCU will handle Doc Ock and Green Goblin stating that individuals in the MCU may have been inspired by the Raimi versions we saw in No Way Home. If true, it's a good and obvious decision to use villains that we haven't seen for the next film. Personally, I use Scorpion considering the homecoming credits scene has gone nowhere. And with a blank slate for Peter going into Spider-Man 4, then this would be the time to introduce classic characters we haven't seen yet, such as Norman Osborn and Doc Ock, but from what this sounds like, the MCU versions of these characters could be anyone just taking on the name of these villains because of No Way Home. The best part about Norman Osborn being Peter's greatest foe is the connection they have considering Raimi Norman killed Aunt May, there's potential for Peter to always be suspicious of the MCU Norman because of what happened, and honestly something like someone being inspired to become the Green Goblin, isn't that basically just what the Hobgoblin is in the comics? Just use him as a villain then, someone that's not Ned? That way you would get a new villain but Peter at least fights a goblin, then maybe he'll think that this is what his version of the goblin goblin would be just for MC Norman to eventually become the true goblin. I do think Peter should eventually fight these villains, but they need to be their true interpretations to have a meaningful story, and there's so much potential that they could do with Peter already knowing of these individuals because of No Way Home. So let me know what you all think. Also before we end, I wanted to say rest in peace to comic YouTube legend, comic historian. I remember watching his Civil War video back in the day, leading up to the movie since I was so excited for Spider-Man to finally be a part of the MCU. If you've never watched any of his videos, go check them out because there's a lot of classics in there. And as always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, hit that like button, and I will see you guys again in my next video.